Chandra is today. We're today we're jumping into It's a Sin, Season 1, Episode 2. Ooh, I like that. Um, we're going to be getting into this episode. I love it. This show took me by storm on the first episode. I can't believe there's only five episodes. Obviously, there's only one season. Most likely, it's only going to be one season, one and done type of thing because it's kind of telling the story from the start of HIV and I'm assuming going all the way through. Um, it's kind of like a miniature pose uh, type of show. I actually like that we're meeting all these different characters and all these different characters come together and unite into like a kind of like a house it is um I know over here in New York City there is an LGBTQ plus uh, community which is like a house um, that they really do take care of youth, the young uh, LGBT youth. A lot of them are either are homeless um, I don't know I, I'm pretty sure it deals with people who suffer from drugs as well um, but there's parents out there still to this day that will just kick their kids to the curb for being who they are and places like that help the community uh, bring them in and take care of them um, show them things uh, so it's really good I know I went over there before for speed dating and it was uh, tragic uh, I'm still single <laughs> that speed dating was uh, weird um, but like everybody else was like 40 or 50 years older than me and I was like yeah I don't know this might not work out um, but regardless there are places for uh, people over there that do need help or just a, 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 a listening ear, I should say. Um, so it's really good that we have those type of communities. Over here, it's kind of like the same thing, but just back in the day when they have this house, and I do see that, like, being gay, even over there in the UK, was, like, not okay. Um, even, like, just a guy being in drama, I found really shocking that the father was like, You're not gonna be in drama! Even the mother and the sister just seems angry. Um, and also, but, like, it seems like I'm kind of curious, does the racial hang-ups, are the, is it, was it equivalent to uh, people being gay back then? Um, I'm kind of interested in that. Even over here, I mean, I know how it is over here because it's the same way, I feel. Maybe it's just, like, more hidden. In, um, they're like, oh, you're uh, a minority. Die! Like, you know, that's kind of how it feels sometimes. Um, and then if you're a gay and minority, <laughs> um, so, you know, the struggle is real, but we keep on pushing. Um, anyways, regardless, at the end of that last episode, I was like, oh my god, he died. And I'm assuming the his husband also has HIV. I don't know if he died. Um, but maybe we're going to learn more in this episode. I kind of hope that these main characters don't get contracted and then die. I feel like because the way people were stating about this show, that this show is extremely sad. I think that's what people said. Um, that I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like uh, just like Pose, um, and I didn't even see the last season of Pose, but I heard um, that a main character dies from that as well. Regardless, guys, I'm ready to jump into this. Somebody actually commented on my last reaction. Everybody know your status, go get tested. And I felt like I wanted to say that actually, actually as well in my uh, reaction. Know your status, guys. Get tested. Practice safe sex. Um, only we could like build our community together and keep teaching the younger folk that are on Grinder and Scruff and Jacked hair flip. I'm not on all three. I'm just saying. Um, and Adam for Adam. Um, just get... <laughs> What else do I have? One second! <laughs> um, just be protected. That's what I'm saying. Be protective. Um, um, be practicing sex. Um, and don't be, uh, doing all those things that, you know, these apps, these pe random people want you to do. Just say no. Um, but yes. Um, I'm ready to jump into this now that you guys see me act a damn fool. So, <clears throat> this will be, before I get into the reaction, you probably like, hurry up! This will be a full reaction for my second and third tier here on the YouTube platform, as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, please sign up to one of those platforms and help support the channel. 
today. Um, is there anything else I need to say? Oh, please like and share this video, guys. You guys already know we are strolling along to 10K, but I do need your help. I'm looking at 1 million subscribers. It's gonna get there eventually. Um, but just please like and share this video. The more people that know about this video, the more people that know about this channel. The more people that know about this channel, the more subscribers we get, and the bigger our family becomes. I'm done. With that being said, uh, let's jump into It's a Sin and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Voice joining with your one voice. It's unlocked if only one. So it's one, one voice. voice. <laughs> it takes that one. I want to be Barry Manilow, and you know what they say about him. Who ends up what? paying for it all, eh? Muggins here. You know, I don't understand why it's so hard to join. Thank God for Maggie. She made a pledge. What do they say about Barry Manilow? Your father says it's queer, which is ridiculous. Oh. If I do end up in Birmingham Rep, I'll be happy because I'll be working and that's all I want. It's a shame you can't stay for Christmas, Jill. You can't go back to London, not after the bomb. And you two, you spend so much time together. I think Richie's going to miss you. I saw you. Singing a love song. I know it's acting, good acting. It's when it's true, isn't it? Back where? London. I thought you lived up the hill. I didn't. Let's finish off. No, I'm fine. I better go. What happened? What, what did I do? Nothing. Just... Oh, my God. Don't be so stupid. It's Americans you don't sleep with. Not Londoners. Americans. What are Americans? 1984. Really? What? Oh, you look lovely. Gregory's outside, he's waiting. See you later. I've decided in honour of the big day, I'm not going to charge you petrol. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, so this is going to be now. Five months. Naughty boy. He can't go in with the family, right? I. Damn. Bedroom's free. Don't you even know his name? Have you ever had sex? Yeah. When? Have you got a passport? Uh, no. Sorry. We booked three days from Sunday the 8th of July. Oh. You're going to New York. <sighs> uh, and he's removed himself to New York. And he needs fittings York. for a number of winter suits. Is it expensive? Well, no, we pay. <laughs> You're there to do exactly what Mr. Hart says. He's the boss. He's a big creepy. For God's sake, Gladys Pew. I'd suck him off to get to New York. You'd suck him off to get to Elon Broadway. Virgin from the Valley. <laughs> Only you would go to the one place in the world where you can't have sex. Glass of love. God's sake. Don't be so stupid. Grizzle, he's doing it again. We're being victimized. You should read this stuff. We're trying to earn a living. This say? stuff's going to drive people away. It's all true. Every word of... You see? It's not fair. Every time we go out as this shit, the whole thing is a pack of lies. Do you know what it really is, AIDS? It's a racket. It's a money-making scheme for drugs companies. Uh -huh. It's a cancer, but you can't catch cancer. Cancer is not a thing that can get caught. How is a cancer gay? I mean, what does it look like? Is it pink? They say that God created it to strike us dead. They say it's the Russians. They say there's one patient zero spreading it wherever he goes. I know it's not true. Because I'm not stupid. And now they're going to need some protection, are they? Ding ding, all aboard. Hi, Gloria. Nice and beautiful. So, are you going to be there? Richie's big day. Richie tours us 21st. Can we move on now, please? Go. Oh. Get your on, Shirley Williams. See you, Sally Bill. See you, Glow. <laughs> Said he was coming. Maybe he's working late. He might have a shift on the night bus. Not like her, to miss a party. He always disappears, and he'll have found some bloke. And I'll come crawling back. Same old story. Mm. Yay! Jill Baxter? Jill, we need you. It sounded quite urgent. He said it was about someone called Gloria. I haven't been very well. I just need someone who will shop in. Why? What's wrong with you? Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't tell that lot. I mean it. I swear to God, don't tell anyone. He's sick. He has it. Gloria! Just keep your distance. I'm not infectious. I'm absolutely not. 
you're perfectly safe. If you could just go shopping and bring it back for me. Okay, but I'm not doing anything until you tell me what's wrong. They said it was tuberculosis. Oh my God, that's infectious. You let me walk inside? No, but it stopped. I'm getting better. And they gave me this questionnaire and asked about, you know, medical history and place of birth. And, and then it said, it said there was a question that said, have you ever had sex with animals? Animals? In the questionnaire, have you ever had sex with animals? But why? AIDS, HIV. <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> but I'm getting better. And you don't get better from AIDS, do you? They say that AIDS is a cancer, and I haven't got cancer. The deficiency happens when you get cancer, isn't it? Does it? I don't know. There was a production of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers in Chicago. And all seven brothers are dead. Just like the idea of seven brothers fucking each other. <laughs> the point is, they let you go home. I discharged myself. They didn't try to stop me. So how infectious is that? If I can use those four weeks to get better and shake it off, then I'll be fine. What do you want me to do? Just this, just shopping things. They sack people for being gay, never mind AIDS. Let me tell Roscoe, he's your mate. Roscoe talks and talks, and I don't want anyone to know because I'm not a slut. You get better, but you get worse ah. afterwards, right? The tenors. Oh, she's having a party next Saturday, so we can all come. And guess who we bumped into long time no see? Hey, Bill. He's been ill. That's why we haven't seen him. He's been sick as a dog. I feel good. I do, I really do. Which means we've got Gloria Mundy literally in sick transit. So what's wrong with you? I had a cold, which got worse. But I'm better now. I love it. She's so he said, scared. I'm born for this. But he said, well, I'm going to have to check this contract. I'm a bit knackered, to be honest. I'll get a taxi in the main road. Oh, money bags. Around one day, yeah? Yeah, that'd be nice. Bye then. Bye. Bye. Glory ends up in a council flat because he's a friend of Dorothy. Bunch of bastards. Did she got to get rid of that car? She did not. Do you want to wash it again? Not like I need the pill to be honest, but you never know. <laughs> I live in hope. Thought I'd ask while I'm here. I was wondering if you had any information about AIDS, you know, any official facts. Well, it doesn't affect you. I don't understand what you mean. Why on earth would I have anything to do with that? Are we done? I'm only going for three days, but Mr. Hart says I need a different suit for every day. This list says all these gay bookshops and things in New York. I thought if you could pop in and take a look, because there are boys dying all over the world from sex, and I want to know why. Right. We've got this great big killer disease, and it's happening in silence, but it's bigger in America. I'll be back by Wednesday. Remember now, don't touch the boys. No yanking the yanks. I'll be back by Wednesday. <laughs> Brought here by Sir Nicholas St. Lane. He needed a new suit, and we made it with Brooks Brothers in five days flat. Oh, 209, right opposite. I'll be dining with the Bridges, but don't wander. Busy day tomorrow. Yeah. Let's it back down. This is her. Look. A cup of tea. Oh, I'd love one, thanks. No sugar. I'm supposed to be losing weight. Okay, give us a minute. No, it's not how you're holding it. Has anyone said it? Still, it doesn't have an R on the end. Still with an R on the end is a word. My baby, and if I want still with an R, then that's that. All right, I've said it, I'm done. Can't you just be happy for me? Shut up. Well, she's got Auntie B and Auntie Bamasola moving in. They're going to live in your room and my room. Going back to Lagos. And then he's travelling up north to Sokoto. He needs comfort, he needs help. Why? What's wrong with him? Us. I got pregnant. You got Ben. And he walks around all day in despair. Yeah, well, good riddance. Wine was a gift and rather expensive. It would be rude not to share. Build yourself up. 
There could be a little bit more of you. Oh, salut. Salut. Oh, no salut. Do you get hot water? Oh, it takes a while for the pipes in these old buildings. Shower or bath? I like a shower. So you smell clean? Do you smell clean? Suppose. Let me see. Come and sit over here. Come and sit with me. No, Santa Claus. Good, are you scared? I get some sleep. Baldoons, seven o'clock. Bye! <gasps> that was close. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Gregory's friend. Have you got a key? We've got him now, so uh, you can leave the key there. Thank you. She's wearing rubber gloves. Should we be wearing rubber gloves or what? Christ, we stop going on, Irene. Who do I know? No. Well, do us a favour, eh? Keep out of it. We've got to hit the road. My dad and my sister. Don't you want to say goodbye? I can go and get him. Don't tell him, Jill. Please, don't tell him. Don't you say a word about my son to anybody. I want to know, right? Should we be wearing rubber gloves? Will you stop squawking? Thank you. For nothing. What? For encouraging him. Damn, she was to blame for everything. I made some food. Fuck off! Richie's got news! It's really seriously fantastic! Oh, not now. Can it wait? No. <laughs> come see, come and see. Jill Baxter. What could this be? Remember some equity! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, Look at us, we did it! We're proper actors! What is it? What's wrong? Nothing. I saw Gloria. He's going home. I mean, for good. When's he going? Now. I mean, he's gone. Don't go around, because you won't be there. I thought he hated Glasgow the way he talked about his parents. Sod it. Don't go on about him. It was someone we knew, that's all. Did you ever go out with him? Did you sleep with him? No, thanks. General erection. He just had a wank in the corner. We were having Bobby McCready. <laughs> God, you all heard each other. Don't you ever think you should... What? Stop what? Sex. God, they got you. The thought police, you are infected. No, I'm just saying. Jill, don't listen to that shit. You're too clever by half. Like, in your mind, you can think your way out of anything. And you slept with him. And then you slept with him. And then you slept with 500 people, like all of you do every weekend. What's going to stop it spreading? What's going to save you? Get smart, idiot. I mean, I saw the Empire State and the Chrysler building in the distance. I did look for that stuff, but I couldn't find anything anywhere. I did try. No, I'm lying. Here you are. No, I'm about to say. Do you fibber? <laughs> Fool do. Do you have an address for Gloria? I mean, Gregory. A home address in Glasgow. I've got it, yeah. Uh, sorry, that number's X directory. Oh, right. Sorry. Do you want to say hello? What for? He's gone, hasn't he? She's going to keep sending oh. letters and we forget nothing. And New York? Amazing. Mm, I've never been lucky enough. <laughs> now, Mr. Hart said, so we can consider your apprenticeship to be at an end. Very well done. So that'll be it. I'm sure you understand. Am I sacked? No, you're not employed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Well, I don't know. Did you? But I'll just post you a month's salary in view because there's no point in haunting the place, is there? I'm finishing today. No need to wait. You want me to go? Well, I don't see why not. And thank you very much for everything. Because that old fat man couldn't sleep with him and then he thought he had HIV. Thank you very much. Yeah, like at that, back in the day, you couldn't, like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the final appearance of Toza and Baxter! Da, 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 da. I like this song, Can I know this song. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. so when it's only a game Listen to the words that you say What's he want for you, Piaz?
that ending. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Um, so Gloria died. Um, that's tragic. I have a question. Question. Somebody's gonna pick on me, teacher. Um, so why are they burning like even his pictures when he was a little kid? Is it was it to act like because he died from AIDS that he never existed? Is that what we're going to do? Is that what they did? Questions, questions. I need answers. Um, overall, that was actually really fucking sad. Excuse my language. I never meant to. I never mean to curse on this wonderful platform of YouTube, but I always do. Um, it was good to see New York, though. Let's start somewhere light. It was good to see New York. Shout out to New York. It was as dirty and loud and dusty and dingy as it is today. Who wants to visit? Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so that was cute. I actually have a crush on that guy. Um, I don't know. I think it's, he's, like, so innocent. He's really cute. That old man. So when we saw that old man with that little boy, it's because he was arrested because he, the, the kid was probably a minor. Because he looked like he was very a minor. Um, or was it because there was something gay? Was it illegal to be gay? I don't know if they said that in this episode. I feel like they did say that. No, it wasn't illegal to be gay because they had gay bars. So I'm assuming it probably dealt with maybe you know there are some places in the world i think that's still like 2023 like over there in those other countries i think that it's like you could be gay but you can't have gay sex so like i know weird um so what's the point like you can't like they can't see the activity like no holding hands no kissing no having sex so I wonder who was like that in England. Only you guys could probably tell me. The vast majority of you guys watching the show are from the UK. Heidi Ho, Winslow. So you guys had a comment down below and let me know. Um, and those who are not in the UK, hello. <laughs> but everybody who watches the show generally is in the UK. I hope it's like a vast. Ooh, I always kick this. I need to move this camera. Um, I hope the like the there's a big diverse crowd that actually watches this show because it's actually um, very interesting to learn about what what it was, how it was back then. It's also very interesting to see that there was gay folks out there that weren't even scared, that weren't listening, that weren't um, taking this to account. There was such an extreme spectrum of either people who just didn't listen to it and thought it was fake, but there were people who like listened to it and then thought it was like contagious, so they're always like scrubbing up dub in their brand new tubs, like how she was, like constantly washing, washing, washing. Oh! Now that I come to think about it, the fat guy, I should stop calling him the fat, I know, this is super rude, I am so sorry, um, I already know somebody is typing down below, um, but the old, the big guy, the creepy crawler, got it, um, was he keep talking about scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing because he was thinking about the disease, but he still wanted to play? Mm -mm. Scrub, scrub for play. <laughs> oh, um, scrub for play. Oh wow, that was good, Andres. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so now it kind of makes sense why he always talk about cleaning. I was like, why is he always talking about cleaning and washing? That's why. Um, I just thought he was like a top and he wanted his bottoms extremely clean. So I was like, about to be like, yeah, that's good. Like at least he wants his bottoms to be clean. Um, but he was just really just didn't want the disease. So to eat his own. Um, anyways. So, uh, what else happened in the story? So, I actually like that lady, the, the one girl who's in this, and she's going back and forth. I really did enjoy her. She, you could see that she really cares, but she's also scared. She doesn't want her other roommates to get anything. I feel like that one boy is going to get it, y'all. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. I'm really sad. I'm really sad. I think it's going to have to touch home closer to home than what it did with Gloria because are they going to ever find out that Gloria did die? Maybe in the next episode. It was very touching. I felt really bad. I did hear that when people do get HIV um, or AIDS uh, maybe HIV because you know one is the lesser than the other. They're both not really the same thing. One is more extreme. It's the more advanced stage. So HIV. But once you get um, HIV, you, I heard you do get sick and then sometimes you get better and you think you're better, but then it'll hit you again. 
that's what I heard. But that also was before all the pills that we have now and like all the stuff before. Let me tell, well, well, talk to me anymore. But there's this guy who I used to be best friends with and we used to party, a ooh, child, we used to party. Um, and I loved him, like, as a friend. He was everything to me, he was super cool. Um, we used to party, we used to sleep around with different boys, I know whatever um i was young back then y'all a little bit younger like 10 years younger or more and um anyways you know he ended up catching it and i didn't um but he did and i know he told me at a club and i bawled my eyes out because it was my first friend ever to have hiv ever and i just i was so super scared and then I know that like when you catch like some people when they have HIV they go through the depression and all those stages and like he just like fell off like he just disappeared. he's actually still good I saw pictures of him recently so I'm really happy that he you know he's better you know but he at that time at that time this is before whatever that other pill is um prep for prep was around so like he had to take like what seven pills i think he had to take he had to take a lot of pills um and i work with him so he had to take a lot of pills um to make sure he was good and he was gone from work for like a month and he wouldn't answer my phone calls he wouldn't answer my texts we could we just we just i think he when he came back around we were we still talked but it was nothing like how it used to be but i still adore him deep in my heart i still have a place for him in my heart i can only imagine what he was going through and how scared he was at that time and I do know he fell into depression um but I love him to bits still to this day oh it touches my heart um but yeah so overall that was my little random story for you guys um that is when I came out the closet that was one thing I was always terrified of terrified of was catching um HIV always super scared um, because you actually never know like there there was actually I'm not, I'm not telling all these story times maybe one other reaction I'll do that maybe the last reaction if you guys want to know um, but yeah so one time in band camp that's what I feel like I was doing um, anyway so let's talk about the show the show was amazing a great episode I would rate it a 10 out of 10 it gave me everything I almost started crying um, but I didn't do that it was really crazy that the um, the creepy crawler fired that guy with no problems just because he thought he had something um but as you can see back in the day it was really freaking scared everybody was scared not everybody people who di didn't know about it was terrified they thought it was contagious they thought that over here in america they thought that if you cough you sneeze or if you're even near these people that you would catch hiv i actually learned in the Dahmer uh, series back when he was killing everybody um that even the cops didn't want to really deal with the gay people because they thought if they touched them they would catch hiv so it's just so much uh, misconception of the disease that people were so scared that so many more people died if they if everybody just learns or try to learn and manage it together then the that I bet you less people would have died from it and if more people learned about it they would have protected themselves but it is what it is humans are humans we are stubborn people and we never listen um, but anyways I would rate this a 10 out of 10 guys please like share this video comment down below I would love to read your guys comments per usual you know i love you guys so much and i will see you guys next time with more it's a sin